Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. And I'm Dan. And today we're going to talk about the word mind, mind deeply. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Today we're going to talk about three different ways to use the word mind. And if you enjoy these deeper vocabulary videos with Dan, each month in the Fearless Fluency Club, we have a one hour vocabulary lesson. Feel free to check out more in the description below this video. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to talk about the first one? Yes. All right. I want to know what's on your mind. What's on my mind? Yeah. What's on your mind? Well, today, you know, a lot of things are on my mind. I have to take care of my baby. Mm -hmm. We have to shoot these videos. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go outside at some point. So. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of things are on my mind. Yeah. So and we mean this literally, your brain. Yes, your mind is your brain. And mm -hmm. this just means, what are you thinking about? What's mm -hmm. on your mind? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a casual expression. If you say, what are you thinking? It might be a little more serious. Mm -hmm. Or someone might think, oh, uh, I don't know. What am I thinking uh, about what? <laughs> <laughs> but if you say, hey, what's on your mind? It kind of means that it's possible that your face looks like you're thinking about something. So if if I'm like this, I look a little concerned maybe if I'm just sitting on the couch in our house and my face looks a little concerned, Dan might say, hey, what's on your mind? Mm -hmm. And that just means, what are you thinking about? Are you concerned about something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is the first way, the most literal way to use mind. Mm -hmm. But the next two ways are different. Let's go to those. The second way to use the word mind, in fact, Dan used a minute ago mm -hmm. when he put on this jersey. Yes. This hockey jersey. What did you say to me? I said, do you mind if I wear this jersey? Yes. Do you mind if I yeah. wear this jersey? Yeah. And what does that mean? Well, it, it basically just means, do you care? Yeah. Uh, will it be a problem? Does it bother you? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I don't think so. Yeah. It's not my normal clothes for English videos, but mm -hmm. it's okay. No problem. <laughs> I don't mind. Mm -hmm. So we can use this to talk about things that you care about. Do you mm -hmm. mind? Do you mind if I bring some beer to your house for mm -hmm. our dinner party? Do you mind if I bring my friend to our dinner party at your house? Do you care? Yeah. Both of those are the same thing. Yeah, and it's a very polite thing to yeah. ask. And usually we, we use it as a question. Do you mind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you mind? Do mm -hmm. you mind? Do you mind? I don't mind. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you could even reply to something if somebody asks you, Hey, can I, uh, like she said, can I bring this beer to the party? You can say, I don't mind. I don't mind. And it means mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the third way. Hey, what are you texting about? Hey, mind your own business. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this means don't look. I don't want to tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. It's a full expression. Yeah. Mind do, your own business. Do you feel like this is a little bit rude? Yeah, it's it's harsh. It's harsh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't say this normally to people without a smile on my face mm -hmm. because really it's not a secret who I'm texting, but maybe I just want to say, hey, I don't like it when you look over my shoulder. A lot of people asked me kind of personal questions when I was pregnant and I could have said, <laughs> mind your own business, but usually I didn't say that. Usually yeah. I tried to just answer or say some kind of indirect answer to their rude question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you want to be direct, mind your own business. You can say that. You'll probably hear people in TV shows saying that, in movies, mind your own business. Mm -hmm. And we can use the word mind as a command mm -hmm. with other sentences, but I think this is probably the most common. Yeah, there are a few others I can think of, yeah. such as mind your manners. Mind your manners. I think parents usually say this to kids. Yeah, it means be polite. Be polite. Make sure that you chew with your mouth closed and you say please. <laughs> but 
I imagine that most of you probably won't say it too often, but you might hear people in movies and TV shows saying it. So mm -hmm. it's good to know in general, but mind your own business <laughs> is the most common. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn to use mind. Mind, yes. Let us know in the comments. Make a sentence saying, I don't mind something. Yes. So for example, you could say, I don't mind if you bring your dog to my house. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if. Usually we use if in this situation. I don't mind if we go hiking in the rain because I just love to be outside. Yeah, or you could be a little more general. I don't mind when people talk a lot. Oh, right. So in this situation, you're not using if. I don't mind when people talk a lot. I don't mind when my kids jump on my bed at 5 a.m. Mm. I'm always happy to see them. Yes. I don't mind if. I don't mind when. It's your turn to use these sentences. And if you enjoyed today's video, I hope that you did. Feel free to join Dan and I every month for a one hour vocabulary lesson in the Fearless Fluency Club. There's a link in the description below this video. I hope that you'll join us and we would love to continue teaching you. See you again the next time. Bye. Bye. Would you like to expand your vocabulary with Dan and I and express yourself more fully? The next step is to join the Fearless Fluency Club and become my student today. Click the picture to download a free sample lesson set. Thanks so much and keep up the good work with English!